Good morning, guys. Um, I'm here in this small but cute room. Uh, I'll show you a little bit later. And I'm in the city center in Tbilisi. And we've been staying in the similar room last time we were in the city, uh, but I think I was filming it for my Patreon account only, so you probably haven't seen it, most of you. It's going to be my birthday soon, about two weeks from now. And my husband asked me what do I want for my birthday, and I said that I want some alone time. <laughs> well, um, when you're a mom and the wife, you sometimes need some alone time. <laughs> I mean, I haven't stayed alone for uh, just for the whole day and night for the past three years. Uh, like Agatha is two and a half, and I think before that, I was also just with Toy all the time. So I was like, I need some time just for myself to think, to work, to just relax. And because I also have a lot of things to do in the city, uh, we decided that it would be better to go now because two weeks from now, I'll be <laughs> very, very pregnant. Um, so yeah, Toya booked uh, this room, uh, almost the same one as we stayed before for two nights for me uh, i want to register a business uh, to pay less <laughs> taxes and i think it might take quite a while uh, and i also want to uh, visit the hospital where i think i'm going to give birth to kind of have a consultation there and to see how the hospital works and all of that because it's like it's time <laughs> already have um, peaches I tried to cut it, but it didn't work out. And I have a uh, yogurt and that's, that's all I have. I think that's enough for breakfast. And I also need to make some phone calls today. I have uh, troubles with DHL de delivery, so I have to, have to call them and I have to call to that hospital. And I'm always nervous calling people because they probably don't speak Russian, <laughs> none of them. So yeah. Um, yeah, I hope it will be a very interesting day. Dichel is not answering the phone and uh, in the hospital they didn't speak Russian or English when I called them. So I found a phone number of the like main doctor in this hospital. He speaks Russian and I texted him and I asked if I ha can come for the like consultation to figure out how the hospital works. And he said that he's today in the hospital so he can meet me and I have a couple more hours to go there. So I'll go straight now and i hope it will work out well i hope he'll tell me everything and like <laughs> everything will be fine i feel so nervous when i have to deal with all of this medical organizations government organizations and <laughs> that so after the hospital i'll probably go straight to the business registration but for now get a taxi to the hospital was planned. <laughs> I was going to tell you how satisfied I am with the fact that I've signed up the agreement with the hospital and all of that and that the appointment went great and then I was walking and I fell down right when I was fixing my phone with the stabilizer. So I'm kind of like everything <laughs> looks really bad. <laughs> uh, I think I'll need to go to 
the hotel room to kind of do something with that. I mean, my knees are all bloody too. <laughs> looks so bad. I'm a little worried about the baby but I think I didn't hurt her much so I kind of I fell down carefully enough for the baby but not carefully enough for me. <laughs> I have a ton of documents now. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Fell down because the road here is kind of not very good. You know what I'll tell you guys? This hurts so bad. <laughs> I mean, my face hurts the most, but hands and knees hurt too, and it's so bad. I don't know English names of this, but this is for uh, like sterilization, um, you know, to make it clean. And they have some plasters. Is it an English word? all these things because you need to do something with it <laughs> to make it look fine I mean, who even makes these bottles? it's almost impossible to open it I'm struggling for 15 minutes already I think this looks even worse with this thing and it's also uncomfortable and painful <laughs> so probably I should take it off but like uh, I don't know it looks bad either way okay so what I know for sure is that I definitely don't want to go anywhere now especially to the state organization to register a business because probably it will take forever there and I'm already a little bit stressed out about this day I think it will be too much for one day, you know, like uh, getting to the hospital and then falling down and all of that and it's also quite late already, so it's about 3 p.m. And I think the registration might take a while and I don't know how long they will work. So I think it kind of makes no sense to go today. Probably I'll go to tomorrow in the morning. And now I'm thinking about lunch. But I don't know if I should go somewhere or if I should get a delivery maybe. Oh, that beautiful moment when your food gets delivered. Oh, yes, looks good. It smells so good. Uh, it didn't feel like going anywhere, so... Mm. So I've just ordered uh, some pizza with lemonade and I have lasagna here as well. It looks very nice too and mm, it smells so good. And there is uh, something like an Italian cafe nearby and that's a little bit a lot for me for now but I just want to keep um, some for the evening because I know I'll be hungry later <laughs> So 
So it's been a couple of hours and my scratches feel fine. They don't hurt anymore, but my ankle started to hurt so bad. Probably I have like sprained it. That's the English word, sprained ankle. Whatever, it just hurts so bad. It felt fine at the beginning, but now a couple hours later, it's just, I can barely walk. So I went outside and I wanted to have a nice walk in the evening, maybe uh, get like a tea in the cafe or something like that, sit there. But now I feel that I, the only thing I can do is get to the grocery store that is on the opposite side of uh, the road and get something for breakfast and for the evening snack or something like that and that's all because i just i just can't walk <laughs> I came home and another room is opened, so I asked the permission to sneak in and uh, film you the street from the balcony from this room because in my room windows go to the backyard, so I want to show you the street because streets in Belize are quite interesting. <laughs> See, they are selling a lot of stuff on the street. And now I have a big ball of berries. It's interesting that buying a ball of berries is cheaper than buying a pack of cookies, but I got cookies too. It was like $2 for all of them. I mean, they look really a lot. So for now, I will just stay at home, enjoy my snacks and finish editing my Q&A video that you'll see earlier than this one. So thank you guys a lot for joining me today uh, for this day that didn't go as I planned at all, but I think it still was an interesting day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.